Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Peace be with you. Thank you so much for letting me be here tonight. Um, particularly during these days, I find that it's extremely important to be in community with strong faith uh, and with strong faith leaders. And so I'm really grateful that you're allowing me to share some time with you. Um, this is also my, the first time that I get to represent a brand new body in New York City called the New York City Commission on Racial Equity. This is an independent commission, separate from the mayor, separate from the speaker, that is solely reporting and really responding to you. Uh, and so to build off of our leader's previous statements, this is the place for you to come and share what it is that you want to see changed in policy. So the Commission on Racial Equity was born out of the racial justice movement when George Floyd was killed. And during that time, voters in New York City were given the opportunity to say what they wanted to see change. And I just wanted to read a little bit from what our city charter now says that we, the people of New York City, declare that our city is a multiracial democracy and that our diversity is our strength, that we honor and respect the cultures, languages, and histories of all who call and have called this land home, and we celebrate their revolutionary imagination, courage, and resiliency. And these days, I would, I would want to add that it's ever more important to add faith to that conversation. And that when we voted in the Commission on Human Rights, we understood that its sole purpose was to ensure that oppressed communities have a direct voice in government decision making. And so also in our charter, we say, we acknowledge the grave injustices and atrocities that form part of our country's history, including the forced labor of enslaved Africans and the colonialism that has displaced indigenous people from their lands, the devaluing and underpaying of immigrant workers and the discrimination, racial, racial segregation, mass incarceration, and other forms of violence and systemic inequity that continue to be experienced by marginalized groups. These words carry great weight for us here, but certainly for all of our family back home and for our extended loved ones across the lands and of course for our families and loved ones in Palestine. My work my work on behalf of the people of New York City is to ensure that community have a voice in government decision making and to ensure that our equity priorities that will guide a new vision for city agencies and city government and planning as a whole comes directly from you. And so I'm gonna be coming back to build on what our leader has shared and ask you to come out and vote, and ask you to come out to our community meetings and to share with me what it is you want to see done differently. It's never been more important to be in community with people who understand that our purpose for justice is to free the oppressed, and that as the oppressed, this is our responsibility. Our brothers and sisters have taken up this fight around the world, and the way that we can do that in New York City is by joining conversations that are led by the elected officials that hear our concerns, and by joining the conversations that we will be leading on the Commission on Racial Equity. I am extremely honored to be with you all here today. I am extremely thankful in this moment when we're experiencing the most egregious acts that oppression can bring on any individual, regardless of their age. It is an honor to be in a space where there is love and healing and strong faith and understanding that you all 
are offering, not only in this space and in this city, but around the world, a light of hope and justice. And as an inspiration to all of us, I'm here to say that I hope that I serve you well during my time. I am, I am here for you, and I want to hear what it is you want New York City to done di do differently. Um, and lastly, I want to close with what it is that we are committed to. That we, the people of New York City, are united in our resolve to build a just and equitable city for all. Recognizing, recognizing the efforts of those New Yorkers, past and present, who fought for racial equity and social justice honor the contributions of those New Yorkers who have suffered in the name of freedom and acknowledge all who fought, struggled, and dreamed for a better life and a better city. Together, we stand on their shoulders as we move boldly toward a brighter tomorrow for our children and for our future generations. Thank you. Thank you.